so welcome to wikitiki.com here is on cloud computing so we are trying to show the live cloud server the interview and questions and the answers and apart from the tutorials everything we are going to see it now from wikitiki.com my name is venkat i am a microsoft most valuable professional i am a certified sorry I am a certified and recognized expert on cloud from microsoft.com. So we'll be, we are going to see the live cloud demo in this video. You are able to see the level one here. One instance per customer. And here is level two, configurable per customer. You are able to see the same color. This different color. So instance one, instance two, instance three, the instance, instance, instance. And the level three is configurable with the multi-tenant. Whereas here you got a load balancer here. Yeah, scalable, configurable, multi-tenant efficiently. This is your cloud computing network or environment. Now let's talk about the infrastructure as a service. So you'll be allocated with your server and whatever OS you want you can put it and whatever software you want you can put it. IAS is the delivery of technology infrastructure as an on-demand deliverable services, a scalable service. Usually built based on usage, usually multi-tenant virtualized in ROM can be coupled with the managed services for OS and application support. Now here is some platform as a service. Let's see the live demo of how it works. So here is the environment. This is your Microsoft Azure, your cloud server. You are able to see once if you enter into portal.azure.com, you are able to see the dashboard over here. And this is the service health of uh, the servers available, cloud servers available. Once if you click it, you are able to see over here, the servers for Microsoft is available. And if I want to create or access or create a new cloud environment, I'll click this new. You're able to see which one you want, compute, networking, storage, web, mobile, database, we've got a lot of things. So I'll show you how software as a service is working, database. So if I want to rent SQL Server, SQL Database, SQL Data Warehouse, SQL Elastic, you got lots no SQL and everything is MongoDB is there. Lot of things are there, but still, if I didn't get any other thing, let me go for CR. Just click it here, you are able to see everything. No SQL, SQL Server related stuff, Oracle, HouseTP, everything is there and you are able to see multiple things. And clicking more, you are able to see lots and lots. You can see it here. Everything is there in cloud. Now, for typical example, I will SQL Server. I want to rent a SQL Server or SQL Database. Click it here. They will ask like you want to create it. SQL Database, which I want to create. If you click create, automatically it's trying to create the database. You're able to see it here. I want a new database which is my wiki wiki concepts. Whether you want to have a blank database or you can restore the existing database available. I'll put it as a blank database. Want to use Elastic Pool, SQL Elastic Pool. This is an additional option which is given. Are given as not now? The collision settings. How do you want the collision settings? Once if I try to create it automatically, please fix the error. So it's asking for some errors. Okay, it is disabled for me. Somehow it's disabled. I want to give the database name. The database name is, uh, I'll put it as wiki techy underscore db. 
somehow I need to reactivate it so it's not working at present so I need to reactivate it once if it is reactivated clicking create I'm able to access my database this is how you are able to create your SQL database this is how your cloud is somehow I got some option of disabling I need to enable this one I need to talk to Microsoft let's move on now what is a platform as a service so it's a PAS sorry for that pass is provides all of the facilities required to support the complete life cycle and building and delivering web publications and services entirely from the internet typically applications must be developed with a particular platform in mind it's a multi tenant environment highly scalable multi tenant architecture pass indicates that they will give the server with the particular operating system you are renting an operating system so whatever software you want you can put it and database you can put it OS you can finalize it put the database software hosting it network access security scripting everything is there in platform as a service and now talk about the kinds of cloud storage so data is centrally stored in the cloud and available across the internet there are three major things available there are three various storage options available we can classify them broadly in the following three categories one is public cloud the other one is private cloud and the other one is hybrid cloud you are able to see the animated future over here the public cloud is like going to a movie theater private cloud is like owning the dvd in your home hybrid cloud is like video streaming a mix up of private and public that's how your private, public and uh, your hybrid cloud is. If you talk about the definition, in this model a service provider makes resources such as application and storage available to the general public over the internet. Public cloud services may be free or offered on a pay per usage model. Whereas private cloud, a private cloud provides more control over the company's data and under the control of company's IT department. So it's really private to you. Hybrid. A hybrid cloud is a combination of public cloud storage and private cloud storage. Where some critical data resides in the enterprise private cloud and other data is stored and accessible from a public cloud storage provider. This is how your hybrid cloud is. That's it. We've got lots and lots of interview questions for you. In, go to youtube.com, search for WikiTiki interview tips for interview related stuff. For school related is Wikidiki school and for uh, technology it's Wikidiki technology tutorials and if uh, finally for health it's Wikidiki health and entertainment. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel to get regular updates from us and if you have any questions or comments you can post it in our YouTube videos so that our expert team will answer it. Here is our website and our Facebook URL. Thank you from Wikidiki.com.